What is up YouTube? I'm back again with another review. So today we're going to be taking a look at another first aid kit. Um, I've already gone over the IFAX of the individual first aid kits, the ones from that the US used from the 70s all the way up into the early 2000s. And here is the next kit I have for the review. So this is the first aid kit general purpose. It's got the national stock number there. It says what it is. And it's got a uh, universal, the, the red cross, the universal symbol for medical or first aid, whatever. On the bottom here, it has the national stock number again, and it says case medical instruments and supply set, plastic rigid size A, specialty products and services incorporated, Pipersville PA, and it's got, looks like their uh, zip code USA cage number and then I'm not sure what this is down here and then it does have an expiration tag so this thing expired March 2016 and it was made uh, February of 2014 so let's open her up I've had this thing since it was brand new it, uh, it had plastic around it and it did have a, uh, a content sheet now normally the contents sheet is on uh, USGI ones is right here, but doesn't look like it ever had one. And here's the contents. So let's uh, start pulling things out here. So now we got all the contents out of the way, we can take a better look at the case itself. It's, um, it's probably the size of three VHS tapes, if anybody even knows, has those anymore. Um, if you stacked three VHS tapes, maybe even four, and put them on top of each other, that's about how big this case is. So, and on the inside it does have a, uh, a foam maybe it's rubber I can't tell anyways it has like a waterproof lip right there so it's a very nice case and it's got two plastic clips that are attached like that alright so on to the contents now this is the alert elite first aid one um, so I guess it's technically not USGI. I mean, it has a USGI container, but uh, this is not exactly how the original ones looked. So I'm going to do my best to take everything out. I'll just have to dump it out like this. It's been a while since I've gone through this, so... I mean, this video it makes for a good video anyways, but after the video I'm definitely going to have to go through here and figure out what... I should keep around and what should probably be thrown out. Okay. We're getting there. Alright. So here is the um, contents that I, I kept. Or at least I tried to keep it. So it comes with adhesive tape. That's this right here. It's got first aid cream. Let's try and find that here. Um, oh, looks like and it says it comes with. Well, it doesn't say how many it comes with. It just says one, but I think I got two right here. Oh no, I do have one. So here's the first aid and burn cream. Triple antibiotic. That's this. Alcohol wipes, four of them. So that's going to be in this stack here. Well, here's two of them. Um, maybe I used. Oh, wait, no, here they are. So you got your four there. Iodine wipes. That's probably these ones. Yep. Got two of them. Four antiseptic wipes. That's these ones. Um, 
trying to keep everything organized here relatively. Um, and he got four clean wipes. So that's these ones and these ones right here. And one pair of latex gloves. There they are. They're latex, so those are going to have to be thrown out. I got some nitro ones that I can replace them with. And hard soap. So that's this right here. Basically like uh, um, like what you get at hotels. And four pain relievers. Um, that's these things, which actually I'm going to set the camera down and just open this. So you do have your pain relievers. They come in packages of two. So they expired 1116. Those are unserviceable. Flipping on the back side, first aid instructions. That's this right here. Gonna have to go through that to see how, how accurate that is. You got your bandage strips or band aids. That's all these right here. Um, and bandages, two inches by 1.4 yards. So I think that's it's this one right here. And. 4 by 4.1 yards. So that's this one right here. Um, keep that up here, and I'm actually going to move these here. And elastic bandages. So it says two of them. Looks like I, I think I replaced it with just one big one. And got your two sterile sponges. Um, let's see here. I guess this is it. The gauze. And instant ice pack. This right here. Got one pair of tweezers. You got one pair of scissors. And one iPad. So six safety pins. So it looks like you got five in here and five out here. So, some of these are not original to the kit. And one pill bottle. So the only two things I've added was this USGI uh, insect repellent cream and uh, water purification tablets. But everything else is original to the kit. Um, this is Elite First Aid. They still make these. I think there were, I think this one was like 24 20 25 dollars i really like this kit it gives a nice variety of um items to use something that i would do definitely throw these out you don't know if someone that you're going to be treating has a latex allergy um so i wouldn't want to use those i wouldn't want to use these they're expired um and me personally this is just me but i don't want to use these um, when I was in EMT school, they always taught us that um, for burns, if you put cream on there, uh, whatever you put on your patient is going to have to be scraped off, so you're going to be causing them more pain in the long run. So I wouldn't put those in there. Um, if this has latex in it, I would try and avoid using it, but I'd also replace these with EMT shears. Probably replace these with actual tweezers. Um, maybe add a second iPad, and that's pretty much it. Um, as far as like just a basic first aid kit, uh, 
probably add more alcohol pads but anyways guys that is my review of the elite first aid general purpose first aid kit overall I mean even with these items it's still very great um, if you can get your hands on one I would definitely recommend it if you don't have uh, just a general first aid kit so anyways guys that's gonna wrap it up for this video hope you guys enjoyed it and as always have a nice day